Now, I've never been in a nest, but I have been in the projects. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about nested projects in Power Director 17. If you like this new feature, I want you to put hashtag wow nested projects in the comment section below. All right, guys, let's jump into the software, make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Today, I'm going to show you how to use nested projects and combine projects in your videos. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Let's start nesting. Nested projects can be used as building blocks or templates for your project. So you can basically take any project and combine it with other ones, take parts out, add parts in, do all kinds of stuff to save you some time in editing. Now, every project that you save on your PC or laptop will show up under the My Projects library of the navigation window. So if we go here and we click on this drop down menu, you'll see that there is an option called My Projects. Now, regardless of where you save the file on your PC, once the project is open using PowerDirector, that PDF file or PowerDirector script will be available in the My Project section. So if I just go to File Explorer and open this up, I can go to any location on my PC where I can find a PDF file. And if I open this, we see that it opens the file on our timeline, but also now if I go back to the, my project section, we'll see that now there's a stabilizer PDS here and it wasn't here previously. So there you go. Now, just like any other file that you have in a navigation window, if you click on a file, it will go ahead and play in the preview window. So if I double click this, my editing tutorials and other editing tutorials are like night and day. It'll go ahead and play the file just like it's a regular video clip. So let's go back to the project that we had open. All right, so we're good to go. We got our project back open up. Now, if you want to nest a project in an existing timeline, you could drag it down to the track that you want to add it to. So let's say that I go back up here and I go to my projects. Then I can go to this file here. I can left click on it, hold down my mouse and I can drag it down to the timeline and place it wherever I'd like. Now I can also place a project wherever my playhead is. So let me place my playhead here and I can go ahead and select this timeline track to make sure that that's the track that it goes to. And then I can do file and I can select insert project. So I can once again go to anywhere on my PC that I have a PDS file. And I click on open. And it will add that to the timeline. Once you have your project added to the timeline, you'll see a PDS icon on the left of each clip, which tells you that it's a nested project. So if I play this here, we can actually see 
what's in this clip. Now, once you have the nested project in a timeline, you also see that you have some new tabs here. So this is the project that I'm actually working on. It's called Dance Revolution. And then I have my nested projects following that. So here is the first nested project that I added, and here's the second one. So it'll keep adding them to the right as you add nested projects to your timeline. Now, if you double click on a nested project or you click on the tab for that nested project, then what will happen is it'll open that particular project on your timeline. So now you can actually make any adjustments to the project that you want. So let's go back up here to the navigation window and I'm gonna click on this and go to media content. And that way I can use any of the content that I've imported into the program and switch it out with things that are in this project. So let's say I want to uh, move this file here, then I can drag it down, place it over the clip that I wanna replace and then let go of my left mouse and click on replace and it'll replace that clip. And let's say I wanna do the same thing with this one here. I'm gonna drag it down to this clip here. I'm gonna place it over it, let go of my left mouse and click on replace. And now I've replaced both of those clips with other clips that I have in my timeline. Now, this is a, a simple replacement of some things. You can change titles, you can change effects. Anything that you have that you use over and over again, you can use that nested project as a template for new projects. So that's cool. So now if I go back to my project timeline, that's gonna include all of the clips and the nested projects. You can see that now that file that was me here talking has been replaced with this person dancing. And you can also see that the first clip of me has been replaced with another person dancing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy way for you to update and build your projects, help speed up your workflow by using nested projects and combining projects on your timeline. Now, if you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and new features like the nested projects feature, and you wanna buy or upgrade to this software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you decide to use it, I'll get a small commission which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. Now you'll pay the same price as you did if you went to the site on your own. So if you wanna help me help you, use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have a tutorial that you'd like me to make, go to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just wanna talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and after you do click on the bell when you click the bell you receive notifications every time i upload content to youtube that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun thanks for watching see you again soon